Hello, this is Coach Steve Peichel, head men's basketball coach at Stony Brook University. Uh, getting ready to give you some updates on our program. Uh, this is going to be called the conference call. Going to give you periodic updates of our program during conference play and some stories and some insights in our program and with our basketball players. We're currently off to our best start in Division I basketball history. We're 8-6, and six, currently 1-1 one one in conference. Play, we lost a tough game at Binghamton University. But we've had a lot of exciting things happen so far in the season. Uh, we've had all of our rookies named Rookie of the Week uh, in conference, and we've had our first in a long time conference player of the week in Mohamed El Amid. Uh, we're currently ranked number one in, in defense in the conference, number one in steals. And then to go down to the UMBC and beat the reigning league champs uh, down there in a the game, which we, again, were ahead early and then we were behind late, uh, you know, it was encouraging signs for a young basketball program. You know, all the newcomers have really helped us, and I think some of the veteran returning players have taken on new roles, and they're doing a real good job. Everyone's bought into defense and unselfish basketball. Um, you know, and I think this team will continue to get better. Uh, we lost Eddie Castellanos for the season with a knee injury. He was a veteran point guard for us. So Brian's been forced into a lot of minutes. Uh, but he's solid. He's been real good. He's been good with the ball. He can make open jump shots. He's real good down the stretch of games, making good decisions. So I'm real pleased with him, and Tommy Breton's given us a real boost in the rebounding department. He's been Rookie of the Week twice in our conference. Um, you know, Danny Carter brings an energy to our program, and he's been Rookie of the Week also. And Dallas Joyner has started every game since he's been here and has really improved on the defensive end. Uh, and then again, we got Marcus Cox now in the starting role. He didn't start, you know, the last couple of years. He's starting now. He's become our defensive stopper. Um, so we've been able to put a unit out there that can really defend and brings us pretty good toughness. Uh, and we're getting better on the offensive end too with the emergence of Mohamed El Amid scoring wise for us. Since we've come back from Christmas break, he started every game. Uh, he's worked harder in practice. He gives us a six foot five score. He scores in a lot of different ways for us. Uh, you know, he's really been able to help Brian Doerr too a little bit in the backcourt with another ball handler. And he's enabled me to bring Demetrius Young off the bench, who's given us good minutes too. So, um, you know, we've gotten some good minutes out of a lot of guys. And all these guys, uh, most of these guys are newcomers to the program that I look forward to. They'll be around for a few years to help continue build this program into a real good program in this conference. Uh, Maine is a good basketball team. They're very big physically. they got two of the best shooters in the conference. They challenge us in a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, Binghamton runs up and down the court. Maine likes to play zones and, uh, you know, shoot jump shots. And, you know, every team is very different. And when you only got one or two days to prepare for those teams, it makes it very challenging. So looking forward to being back home. We haven't been home in a long time. I don't remember the last time we played a home game. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, it's never easy. Uh, never easy with a young team. Never easy with a short period of time to prepare uh, for your upcoming opponents. But our kids are, you know, I think pretty focused and, and uh, you know, I look forward to a great home opener here for us.